NASA says it will release new images today of the most distant object ever explored by humans. This photo of fuzzy photo of Ultima Thule was taken by the pioneering New Horizons spacecraft yesterday. Scientists believe the icy world more than a billion miles beyond Pluto will reveal clues about the origins of the solar system. Mark Strassman is at the mission's headquarters in Laurel, Maryland, near Baltimore. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Scientists here are now studying the first of hundreds of images the New Horizons space probe will send back to Earth over the next 20 months or so. These pictures will be more detailed and potentially more stunning than images the same probe took of Pluto three and a half years ago. We are ready for Ultima Thule science transmission. New Horizons radio signals arrived on Earth Tuesday morning to cheers after traveling more than four billion miles through the cosmos. This is what it recorded, an icy world nicknamed Ultima Thule, Latin for beyond the borders of the known world. On the frozen fringes of the solar system, it's one of thousands of known objects in the Kuiper Belt. New Horizons flyby whizzed past it at more than 32,000 miles per hour. Alan Stern is the mission's principal investigator. It's just unprecedented. No one's done anything like this in spaceflight ever before. His team has planned for this moment since 2015, when New Horizons sailed past Pluto and took these dramatic images. How complicated was getting the two to, in the same neighborhood? Every part of this is hard. Ultima Thule is basically the size of a mountain. We chased it down from a billion miles away, more or less in the dark, and we completely nailed this. Ultima Thule is shaped like a bowling pin and about 20 miles across. High resolution photos to be released later today will show whether it's a single world or two in very close orbit. It's been frozen in time for four and a half billion years since the birth of the solar system. And scientists hope it can help explain how planets like Earth were formed. Never have we ever been to a perfectly preserved relic of the formation days of the planets. And in the next few days, we're gonna to start to unravel what that was all about. And that's priceless scientifically. New Horizons will now just keep moving deeper into the cosmos as scientists here try to decide what it should target next. Michelle, amazing stuff. Wow, it sure is. It's really cool stuff. <laughs> really cool stuff. It's a galaxy far, far away. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. But, you know, it's just a rock, right? <laughs> it's a Did I just we say that? No, we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> we yeah. don't. We don't know. All right. Thank you, Mark. NASA's New Horizons mission reveals entirely new kind of world. Scientists from NASA's New Horizons mission released the first detailed images of the most distant object ever explored. The Kuiper Belt object nicknamed Ultima Thule. Its remarkable appearance, unlike anything we've seen before, illuminates the processes that built the planets four and a half billion years ago. This flyby is a historic achievement said New Horizons principal investigator Alan Stern of the Southwest Research Institute in Boulder, Colorado. Never before has any spacecraft team tracked down such a small body at such high speed so far away in the abyss of space. New Horizons has set a new bar for state-of-the-art spacecraft navigation. The new images taken from as close as 17,000 miles 27,000 kilometers on approach revealed Ultima Thule as a contact binary, consisting of two connected spheres. End to end, the world measures 19 miles 31 kilometers in length. The team has dubbed the larger sphere Ultima, 12 miles slash 19 kilometers across and the smaller sphere Thule, 9 miles slash 14 kilometers across. The team says that the two spheres likely joined as early as 99% of the way back to the formation of the solar system, colliding no faster than two cars in a fender bender. New Horizons is like a time machine, taking us back to the birth of the solar system. We are seeing a physical representation of the beginning of planetary formation, frozen in time, said Jeff Moore, New Horizons geology and geophysics team led. Studying Ultima Thule is helping us understand how planets form both those in our own solar system and those orbiting other stars in our galaxy. Data from the New Year's Day flyby will continue to arrive over the next weeks and months, with much higher resolution images yet to come.
In the coming months, New Horizons will transmit dozens of data sets to Earth, and will write new chapters in the story of Ultima Thule and the solar system, said Hera Winters, New Horizons' project manager. The Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory in Laurel, Maryland, designed, a built and operates the New Horizons spacecraft, and manages the mission for NASA's Science Mission Directorate. The Southwest Research Institute, based in San Antonio, leads the science team, payload operations and encounter science planning. New Horizons is part of the New Frontiers program managed by NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Music